I really do welcome this opportunity to speak to you directly about the fact that we have had some high profile sexual harassment cases here at UC Berkeley, and they have raised deep and understandable concerns. Now, I've been deeply alarmed by the frequency of these cases, and I am committed to ensuring a safe community for all of our students, staff, and faculty in their wake. I want to acknowledge that some recent decisions in cases of sexual misconduct have in fact exacerbated these concerns. I certainly regret any errors in judgment. Now, I care deeply about Berkeley, and I want this to be a welcoming, inclusive, and safe community for every member of it. In the coming days, we will take decisive steps to implement more appropriate and more effective ways to rid our campus of sexual assault and harassment. Unfortunately, this is happening all too often across the country, and it happens in universities across the land as well as across the UC. I am eager to support last week's actions by President Janet Napolitano to pursue this reform on all 10 UC campuses. Her leadership here is a welcome step, and it will help ensure that remedies and penalties are applied firmly and consistently across the university. Now, we need new thinking, and we need new procedures. We have to make a break with the past and rethink how we address these issues and prevent future ones. I'll be working with campus leaders and colleagues. We'll invite experts in this area from around the country, and they'll help us develop immediate and actionable improvements and turn our story from one of disappointment to one of leadership as befits Berkeley. I take very seriously my responsibility to protect the integrity of our learning and working environment, and I make a personal commitment to see that critical and urgent reforms are put in place that will change our culture as well as our behavior, and thus genuinely ensure the safety of our environment. We'll be saying more about these steps in the days ahead.